In today's episode of The Insect Hunter, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the different insect collecting and sweeping nets that there are out there so that you can find the right net for you. First off, I wanna say a quick note to my subscribers that I will continue to post videos, but I'm going to transition to a once every three week schedule because I've got a lot of work projects going on right now, but I will continue to post videos. This will give me a little bit more breathing room so I can work on other things. And I promise you that I still will be producing lots of great content for you guys. So an insect net is built and composed of a couple parts. The main part is the handle the net itself, and then there's usually some device that holds the net in place. Um, I'm gonna mostly talk about the handles and the different type of net material that you can purchase. So let's talk about the handles. Um, there are two different types of handles. For the most part, you can get metal and you can get wooden handles. With wooden handles, you really know what you're getting just by looking at it because it's not gonna be hollow. But with metal, sometimes you know it could be hollow metal. So um, you really wanna take a close look. That's why I'd encourage you to just make your own net and then you can actually see what kind of metal you're gonna be putting into it. As for the weight, um, they're about the same um, depending on the metal or the wood that you get and the size. As for the strength, um, I feel like if you find a good net, the metal will be stronger. But like I said earlier, you want to be careful because uh, if it, it could just be a super cheap light aluminum and it could probably bend and break easily. So that's why I like to look at the metal. If you don't know what the metal is like, um, then you might just want to go with wooden. Um, as for the portability, there are some metal nets that you can purchase that you can break apart into different pieces. Those are great for traveling, um, but they're going to cost you a little bit more than the actual wooden handle. So both of them cost about the same um, if you make it yourself, but um, if you're going to buy one online, the metal is probably going to cost you more just because it has a little bit more durability for the most part. Just wanted to mention one issue I have had with the wooden ones. Um, this one was purchased from BioQuip. And uh, as you can see here, there's a small screw and that holds this metal piece in place, which holds the ring, which holds the net. And uh, that has come undone on me multiple times and kind of caused a little bit of frustration, but it was not too hard of a fix. Just something to mention. So as for the lengths, um, a shorter length is fine for a tall grass. So I could take this and go into a tall grass, even though this is a very short uh, net here. Um, this one works great for kids, uh, kind of these shorter lengths, but you could use it, it's fine. Um, it's just not going to be quite as nice as this longer one, which is better for stalking uh, insects from a distance. And this one also lets you reach a little bit more into trees and other things like that if you're trying to get things that are a little further away from you. I do like longer. Um, this one here I think is the perfect length for me. And if I put it onto the ground, this one comes about to... Uh, about to the center of my chest and that is perfect to me. Anything longer than that just becomes too burdensome. To me personally, the more important thing is what the material is actually made out of. So there are two main types of materials that uh, you'll find for insect nets. One of them is muslin, which is this one here. And then the other one is a mosquito mesh. So let's talk about the mosquito mesh first. The mosquito mesh, a really great thing about it is that it will dry out very quickly. So as you're out collecting, if this thing gets wet, you don't need to worry about it because there's all these holes in it. It'll dry out pretty quickly and it's not gonna get super soggy on you. Also nice about it is if you're collecting insects and you wanna look at what's in there, I can clearly see this. I mean, you can not see perfectly through this, but you can kind of see me. Um, you can see the insects inside of it as you're collecting, which is a great use. And I think for a lot of kids, this is, this is a good idea. Uh, but one of the disadvantages of this, and you can look on here, there's a bunch of tears on here, is that if this thing gets into bushes or trees or things with thorns and spines, it will tear very easily because those spines just get into these grooves and you pull on it and it is going to rip it and kind of cause issues. So these are much more fragile. So this one is a good choice if you want to, but I would say that it's mostly for doing in grasses, and other plants that aren't super thorny or woody. So it is a good choice though. I personally favor muslin material much more than mosquito netting because it is much more durable. This thing you can take and use it just about anywhere and it is gonna hold up. If this thing gets into some thorns, 
they're just going to brush off because this is an actual full material. The big disadvantage with this though is that you can't see the insects that are inside of it and it also does get wet and is a little harder to dry off. But for me, I use this in just about every situation. I can't see the insects, but what I'll do is after I go out and sweep and I've kind of closed up my net and I'm holding what's in there, I'll transfer it straight into a cage or I'll put it uh, into a kill jar or other device to uh, kill the insects so that I can use them for my collection. So really this net is just good for just about any use, but you can't really see the insects that are inside of it, but I'd recommend using this all the time because this just works awesome. As for the prices of the two nets, um, the mosquito mesh for pre-made nets was uh, turning out to be a little bit cheaper than the muslin, but um, when I was looking up materials and if you're gonna make your own, they both cost about the same. So I would just say get the muslin, or if you really want to get both, and then do a combo net like this one here. So this net has muslin to protect it really from when I'm sweeping it, moving it around and through everything. And then it's got the mesh on the bottom, which is awesome because uh, I can also see the insects at the bottom. But you can see that it's still got a lot of tears and things in it, so it's not perfect. So if you wanna buy a combo net like this with the muslin and the mesh at the bottom, then that one's gonna cost somewhere in between. So hopefully this has been helpful for you guys and you guys can uh, use this to help decide what kind of net you need for your situation. I'd recommend just making your own. You can watch this video over here so you can make your own and it doesn't even cost you that much money. You could do it for 10 bucks if you know what you're doing and you know how to sew. So in my opinion, I think the muslin is the much better choice because it's so much more durable, but I can see how with kids or other groups, they might enjoy the excitement more of seeing the insects, but they also probably will get it stuck in thorns and start ripping it and it's not gonna last as long. So what do you think? Do you like muslin more or do you like the mosquito mesh more? Let me know in the comments what you think. Like this video and subscribe so you can stay tuned next time where big adventures start small. Thanks for watching.